going to do something. Hearing something similar? Don't worry. I've got you covered. And in this video, we will be looking at some learning activities for kids. So let's get started with the first one. Finger painting. Learning to count can be made fun with this hands-on painting task. Research shows that art-related activities when presented to kids from a very young age help in brain development. So here I have a simple cloud and based on the numbers in each column, Sanvi is using her fingers to paint raindrops. This promotes motor skills, sensory experience, imagination and color recognition abilities. As kids get comfortable with counting, feel free to go to the next level. In this case, we can talk about how clouds are formed, about rain, storms, rainbow or anything related to the sky. Keep changing the theme so that various topics can be discussed. For example, instead of clouds, young ones can add petals to a flower or feathers to a bird or topics on a cupcake. These are just some ideas that I can think of. Hope that helps. Next up is in the alphabet phonics category. Which letter do I start with? This letter caterpillar starts with caterpillar. K K C. Yes. Just grab some toys around you. Take turns and ask which letter each toy or object starts with. Sanvi. Can you pick up that fish for me? Okay. Which letter fish starts with? Fish. F. Good job. Which letter B starts with? B. B. Initially, I used to stress on the beginning phonic of the word so that Sanvi learns to map the sound to the letter. Over time, she got hold of it and now she is able to spell it all by herself. Practice is the key here and doing it this way in the form of a game makes it interesting and fun for both of us. I improvised the game by asking Sanvi to think of other objects or words that start with the same letter and you get the idea. A strong foundation in phonics is crucial for a child's reading and writing skills. Now that numbers and letters are out of the way, let's get on to some science. The first activity in this category is zip lining. Yes, you heard me right. All you need is a cable or even a simple rope should work and some objects with loops. I tied the cable at both ends in a downward sloping angle so that the objects can slide along. As you can see here, Sanvi is enjoying this activity a lot. <laughs> Slowly, when I felt she was ready, I brought in the concept of gravity, but yes, in simple terms because she's just three and a half years old. So I showed her how big and heavy objects come down faster when compared to the lighter ones and how all objects, irrespective of their mass, fell to the ground. So based on your kid's age, feel free to introduce any related topics to gravity like mass, weight, planets, stars, rotation, revolution, solar system, and the list goes on. The next activity in science category on my list is making a raft with the sail. I grabbed some PE foam from Amazon packages that I received earlier this week along with some papers, markers and toothpicks. Other alternatives to PE foam are egg cartons, styrofoam, cardboard or pretty much anything that can float for a considerable amount of time on water. Sanvi is busy decorating her sail now. Next step is to push the toothpick with the sail into the raft or a piece of foam in our case. Oh, and now she's coloring her raft as well. Trust me, she loves customizing every single bit. Wasn't that quick and easy? Wow! Alright, with the raft ready to go, let's get on to the fun part. What a play! Yay! I filled in some water near our dressing area 
and Sanvi is all set to sail. Looks like she brought along her favorite rubber ducky and puppy for some pretend play. Ducky dog sailors. We have a big trip. We are friends. Ducky swimming. My goal through this activity is to bring in the concepts of float and sink. To supplement, I have a bowl of water here and some objects to demonstrate the same. Go ahead and explain in depth as applicable to your kids age. Teaching such concepts through games ensures more attention and involvement. As a result, it improves the memory to a great extent because they make connections with what they already know and that's exactly how our brain works. I guess that's a lot of science for one day. Let's get on to paper folding now. We will be making some colorful bird finger puppets. Sanvi started off origami with simple ideas involving minimal folds like turning a square into a triangle, a two-fold heart, etc. For complex ones like these puppets, I showed the final product first to bubble up that curiosity and interest within her and then slowly I guided her as how to proceed. I have provided the link to the YouTube video that we followed for making these puppets in the description box below. Sanvi is now unleashing her creativity by coloring the birds with some markers. And it's done! Benefits of origami Since we use both hands, it stimulates both left and right hemispheres of the brain. It also encourages understanding of space, symmetry, hand-eye coordination and the relationship between shapes. You can show them how two-dimensional shapes look when turned into three dimensions. Since we are already on the topic of brain development, here is another simple activity to improve concentration and coordination. On some A4 sheets, draw lines like these. You will need two coins. I took a couple chips from a board game, but anything similar would work. The goal here is to trace the lines with the coins using both hands at the same time. I started with straight lines so that Sanvi understood the exercise first, then steadily I increased the difficulty level. This is a very simple yet effective exercise for improving concentration, hand-eye coordination and stimulating the activity of both hemispheres of the brain. Do give it a try. Okay, we have made it to the last activity for the day. What better way to end this video than with a magic trick? Quickly grab some paper towels, markers and a bowl of water. Fold the paper towel into half. Using markers or sketch pens, draw a picture half on the inside of the paper towel and half on the outside. Now for the fun part. Huh? The pot is here. The flower is here. Yeah, but the flower is here. Wow. wow! Immerse the paper towel and there you go. Magic! How cool is that? Hope you had fun watching these simple yet effective DIY fun learning indoor activities. We hope you liked this video. If yes, Give it a big thumbs up. Bye-bye.